Hello everyone. I am Kuldeep Daryani and I love to help people become better in their personal and professional life. Dear friends, Novation Agreement. What is novation? Novation refers to an agreement regarding substitution of the original contractor or concessionaire with a new contractor or concessionaire without changing the terms and conditions of the original contract agreement wherein the original contractor agrees to forego any rights availed by them through the original contract agreement purpose of novation novation agreement is a tripartite agreement between two parties or companies and the government authority in this agreement there is a replacement of existing company by another newcomer on a contract wherein all liabilities and assets are transferred in the name of the new company with effect from the start day of the contract irrespective of the date of novation agreement it is important to note here that irrespective of any stage of the project by signing of novation agreement the new contractor fits into the shoes of old contractor as if the new contractor is in place on the project since the day one how is assignment different than novation an assignment is a mechanism by which a party to a contract the signer transfers its rights and benefits under the contract to a third party the assignee only the rights and benefits can be transferred as obligations but burdens and liabilities under a contract cannot be transferred as part of an assignment the assigner is not released from their obligations under the contract and the assignee does not become a party to it important key aspects to be kept in mind while drafting novation agreement are as follows first effective date of transfer of liabilities and assets This date will govern the financial status of old and new contractor on cut-off date. This means on cut-off date works executed by old contractor will be the only liability of the new contractor after novation agreement has been executed. Stamp duty. This is an important key component which decides the wordings of the draft agreement because As per relevant recent government of Maharashtra circular dated 18th March 2021 stamp duty is applicable on all such agreements however as late as recent times stamp duty is normally not paid by any of the contractors or concessionaires as accepted by the government third key aspect is progress for the sake of clarity percentage progress and amount billed on cut off date should be reflected in the novation agreement to avoid any future conflict between all stakeholders when it comes to the point of payments or applicability of stamp duty residual obligations the old and new contractor on executing the novation agreement need to record novation of the residual obligations of the original contractor in relation to the project under the contract agreement to the novity contractor with corresponding rights the government authority shall consent to the novation by the original contractor to the novity contractor of all the residual obligations of the original contractor with corresponding rights to receive residual payments during construction period whether accrued and due but unpaid and that which shall accrue in the balance construction period also same applies to np payments o and m payments and interest on balance completion cost and any other revenue or receipt as defined under contract agreement and for substitution of novity contractor in place of original contractor in all project agreements and other deeds documents and writing in relation to the project
no assets no liabilities as on the effective date or cut off date the companies agree that there are no assets that is future receivables and or liabilities that is amount payable in relation to the construction of the project on the books of the original contractor in relation to the project other assurances the original contractor and the novelty contractor covenant and agree that the novation of all the rights obligations liabilities title and interest in and under the contract agreements shall not affect the rights and interests of the government authority including those that have already accrued and the same shall be enforceable against the novelty contractor in the same manner as though the novelty contractor was the original party to the contract agreement in place and instead of original contractor in the following videos we will elaborate more details on other aspects of contract administration for more details please visit our website daryanis engineers and associates private limited